Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, September 25th, 2023, almost uh, 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, I signed up, uh, what, three months ago, I think it was, maybe it was longer, with Mint uh, cell phone service for my cell phone. And I've been happy, very happy with the results. I think it's for three months. Um, and I paid, you know, I paid for like, I'm not sure if you can do it, probably you could do it a month, whatever, but I, you know, I paid for three months. So then I got a notice that um, I only had a couple more days to go and I needed to, so, so I tried to log in to Mint to uh, pay, you know, for the next three months. And my God, I mean, I can't, I can't even describe to you what, what the situation was. And of course, they were asking for my, you know, uh, access, you know, access and uh, user, or, you know, not username or whatever, but password. And Intuit was jumping up. I guess that's the way you, you know. And uh, uh, it was just insane. So I kept trying to go around. You know, I mean, hey, you know, they, they sent me things to my cell phone that I, you know, I could activate. That, but then I go there and I'm, so then stuff for Intuit started showing up. And it was some of my financial information. I th I never used it into it. I think it's um, I don't know what it is. Oh. Well, it's got to be a financial thing because there were things on there showing that uh, how much I had in the bank, how much, you know, and I never I've never done any business with them. Um, now, did they take over QuickBooks? I don't remember if I did any business with them. But I was just, all I wanted to do was update. I wanted to pay for the next, you know, in a, two or three days, my three-month thing had would expire, and I needed to, I wanted to pay for the next. Uh, in fact, I decided actually, before I ran into this problem, and what, I decided that I was just going to you know, have them take the money out every month or every three months or however they did it, I guess every three months. It was hell, and it went on for a couple of days. Uh, you know, I tried. It interfered with LastPass. I used Last, LastPass protection or a security thing or whatever. And there must be some type of a connection between Intuit and uh, LastPass, or it was just a total disaster in every way. Um, like I said, I I didn't save any, and I don't want to show you any because it's showing people that I have done business with in the past, the bank account number, not the bank account number, but the amount in the bank apparently at that time. And uh, I mean, just was uh, Hang on a second. Let me put this on. Well, I was thinking about some energy drinks. Drinks, orange box. Don't forget the orange. Stop, don't, orange for, juice. don't forget the orange juice. All right, y'all. You jump to my house tomorrow. Tomorrow, I get in the car for the next twenty years. I'm getting married in about a month, like usual. Lord help us all. Anyway, the most bizarre stuff was going on, information or whatever. So uh, finally, and I had difficulty with that, even calling in on my cell phone to them. And then finally I was able to call in and get in on my cell phone. And then when I put my cell phone number in, well, they knew who I was. And so then they let me pay and do, um, you know, just automatically take out. 
And they even indicated, which is true, that I was using almost zero data and that I was paying for a large amount of data. And they offered me the chance to, you know, and I thought, no, I don't want to run into a problem, you know. Uh, so I'll just continue paying for the whole bunch of data in case I need it. Because it looks like in a couple of months we're going to be homeless here. Uh, so I may be out on the street. Uh, yeah, because of my son and his medical problem. But I don't blame the apartment complex because he's been causing problems. And they shouldn't have to go through the problems. I shouldn't have to go through the problems that he's my son. But, uh, so anyway, I am now um, And so far as the Met is concerned, but this, you know, this connection, so also I found that out, um, yeah, I thought, okay, they just merged or whatever and the system is going, uh, I want to go to Wikipedia, then I go Met, I think, whoops. So pissed off. Okay, now okay. Wikipedia, so we're gonna do um and met. Okay, I, uh, let's see. TurboTax, I've never used that. Okay, come on. I think I just need to do it on uh, just an Amazon or a, let's see. Let's see, okay. When did Mint get Okay, I put sold. No, okay, here we go. Mint Mobile sold a T Mobile. That's not it. Okay, when did uh, Turbo? Um, uh, that's it. God damn. I'm going to give up on that. Except, okay. i be very careful. Um, because Uh, Mint Mobile is really actually good, except for this. Uh, I guess they're trying to combine, maybe, I don't know, but maybe they're trying to combine, I guess they have combined everything into one system, and they're over, you know, I have a Mint service, and I go there and try to log in. I have trouble because it's wanting another password, you know, it's wanting some password. But luckily, when I log in with my cell phone, okay, they know this is my cell phone. It's not, they know it's their number, you know. Actually, I transferred that number. Anyway, they know it's their number now, you know. But um, the reason I feel like I, that I need to tell you about this is three months ago when I signed up with Mint and I looked at the prices and all that kind of stuff and the way things were handled in, in that Thing that I was dealing with, everything was looked good. So, when you're a subscriber, if you uh, somebody else subscribes through you, 
you get a, I don't know, a discount or you get X amount of money or something. So I put the link in my YouTube site someplace and it's in there now for you to sign, you know, you can sign up that way. And I think you'll do just fine if you sign up that way, but I'm going to take out. But I may have trouble finding it. But uh, I'm going to take that out because this other thing is bizarre. Uh, I wish I could show it to you so you'd see, but then maybe you wouldn't understand how it, bizarre it is. That I'm see, I saw, I went there and there was some bills that were listed uh, from a few years ago or something or rather. Now this is not a collection thing or anything like this. This was like, oh, you know, uh, you pay so, such and such a month for something, and uh, there's no indication. They don't, they don't say this, but there's no indication that you paid that month. Do you want to pay for this month? They didn't say that. Also, I mean, it's just chaos. So I'm going to try to find anything for Bing and remove that. So you're on your own. Um, I've used quite a few different. Uh, I use Google Fi. Now they're expensive. And uh, I mean, I was happy with the service, but they were, you know, they were expensive. A lot more expensive than uh, Mint. So I guess for now I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to upload this. And I've only been talking 12 minutes. So beware of mint uh, and make sure you know what you're doing and oh I did see someplace that this intuit or whatever taking over mint it happened a long time ago many 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 years ago so this isn't something that just I thought when I when this popped up okay I thought oh shit the programmers, you know, they took on this new company or the new company took on them or whatever, and that's the problem. No, that's not the problem because they've been connected for years and years along with a bunch of other companies. So, but anyway, I'm not going to ask if you see the Mint thing, but I'm going to try to find, I mean, if you do happen to run across it, but I haven't started yet to, do, you know, delete Mint from this thing. Uh, now I'm using Mint for my cell phone, but I'm going to take the links out of appearing on YouTube, and uh, I guess that's it. Thank you very much for watching.